So we have just arrived at Voyagers National Park. We're up in northern Minnesota, right on the border of Canada. And right now, it is cold and it is windy. So this should be interesting. So this text message just came in regarding our canoe trip, Shane, to Voyagers. We would like to inform you that there's a wind, <laughs> we'd like to inform you that there's a wind advisory for today and that we recommend you do not go out on the water until the wind subsides. Please use your best judgment and common sense and stay safe. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's getting a lot better. And yeah, that sun is peeking out. The wind will be dying down any time right now. We're gonna have a great time on the lake, Shane. What do you say, buddy? Love you, little one. <laughs> How you doing, Mom? Good. You gonna be pulling out the swimsuit anytime soon? Probably won't be seeing a swimsuit. <laughs> Maybe my parka. Maybe your wetsuit. Voyagers National Park was first established in 1975. It commemorates the Voyagers, the French Canadian fur traders, who were the first European settlers to frequently travel through this area. It also seeks to preserve the history of the indigenous people, the industry, the wildlife. And life in general in the great North Woods. There are three visitor centers at Voyagers National Park and we entered in a rainy lake. All the way from New Jersey. Wonderful. <laughs> what brings you here? I'm happy to be here. Well, we have a, a boat reserved, I think, that was supposed to get dropped off for us, I understand. Okay, by a, like an outfitter? Yeah. This is just my, 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 oh, my own map okay. to figure so out where we're going. are you going to? Channel View. Channel View? That's it. I picked, I think, a relatively real close, close. Yeah. close one. But you can see it's really wavy out there. So are you a boater? Oh, avid boater. Tremendous. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, <laughs> Then it won't we'll find out way. within the first 20 yards what kind of boater I am, but no, we've done a lot of canoeing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to launch here. Okay. You're going to come up this Narrows, and then I would suggest stay along this shore. The southern shore. Over. Yeah. Okay, and then head across. But the wind is blowing through here. You can see it if you walk, if you look out the window, or if you, actually, it it is a beautiful sight. Yeah. And you will be looking all the way down the lake. Gotcha. Yeah turn a little bit of a turn okay. and you're going to be along the, the north shore and then you're going to cut across the app windy.com mm. maybe check that okay. yeah right. that been, you know you put in your location and then it'll tell it'll tell you. The house. and is the wind going to change direction is it going to die down okay uh it's still going to be really windy all right here's where you have to make a tough decision we have to go down this channel Hang a right. The wind is coming from the south, so that's gonna push us down the channel. And if we hug the shore on the right-hand side, that should block the wind as well. We'll be under the cover of that, that land. And then we have to go across another channel to get to our reserved island. But uh, um, I don't know, we're gonna check the, the weather and uh, hopefully the sun might be coming out later on. The wind might die down. We'll give it a shot, but uh, I don't know. Not what we were expecting. Let's see how it goes.
this shot right here makes it worth getting up at four in the morning. This is amazing. So we never made it out last night, as you could tell, but uh, it was worth getting up early and seeing this incredible sunrise right here. Definitely made that right call by not going out last night. It would have been really difficult, especially with all of our gear, probably unsafe a little bit as well. But uh, this definitely made up for it. So we found our island that we were supposed to camp on last night. Why don't we go over there right now and show you around. Not too big. Let's see what's over on the west end. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Nice job. So we made it across. What do you say, Shane? About the size of a football field, maybe? I say. Well, it really would have been nice to sleep here last night, but at least we did get the sunrise. And to some degree, we still got to enjoy our campsite. You can see, I'll show you around real quick. This is channel view, site number 100. You got a couple bear boxes. Um, a lot of firewood was left behind, but there is a fire ban right now, so that wouldn't have mattered. There's your fire pit. Table, tent pad number one, tent pad number two, and pit toilet behind. Tent pad number two, as we said, the island is about the size of a football field. Absolutely beautiful here. When there's water, America's Parks always has to go in for a dip. Here we go. This might be as far as America's Parks goes. It's cold, huh? Yeah. today. It's the initial shock. And once you get over that, very refreshing. All right, guys, that's it. Say goodbye to the island. <laughs> I got kind of attached to it. That was beautiful. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? A nice, what a great day. All right. Let's head back off the Superior National Forest. So from the beautiful shores of Northern Minnesota, we are now signing off. I wanna thank you for watching this all the way to the end. If you haven't done so yet, we'd appreciate it. You could subscribe to the channel and remember, there's always room for you on every National Park adventure.